Hey everyone, it's Evelina Damore here. Today is a very exciting day. I just found out that the truck that is delivering all of my haunt furniture is just about to arrive. So, I'm gonna show you everything. I'm so excited to see all the furniture. I've lost count of how many pieces there actually are, but <laughs> I'm so excited and I just can't hide. Yeah, this doesn't happen every day. This is gonna be really special, so keep watching. The truck has arrived with the fucking size of the truck. Oh my god! Fun just said this truck is bigger than the truck that we used to move into this house. <laughs> I think the furniture might end up being bigger than we expect it to be. That happened with um, the mirror that they showed me, the Maleficent mirror. I didn't think it was 1.5 meters tall. I didn't read the description very well. Hello! Hey guys, how are you? Good! So I just got told every single item on the truck is wrapped. Are you trying to get a front and twice? center? A twice? Yeah, it's on a truck, sweetie. So we're going to have to move it inside and then unwrap every single item. So it's going to be like a lot of kinder surprises. <gasps> nah, that's not it. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? It's a barbecue, some cane furniture. I'm like, dude, you got the wrong order. Item number one. I have no idea what that is. From the shape of that, I'm going to say it's my coffin coffee table. Thanks, Steel. Yeah, look okay, at that. You know what I'm gonna tell you? Get, out, Get of out of the way. Please, my lovely wife. Be careful. Be careful, Daddy. So I'm gonna say that one there is the Maleficent mirror. That's the coffin coffee table. Let's see what else is going on. Hi, baby. <laughs> Had to lock him in the kitchen. The next issue is to see if things will actually fit through. The front door. So yeah, that one won't fit, which I'm guessing is one chair. Yeah, just to the left. Will that two inches make a difference? Yeah, it can be. I am so excited to start with a coffin coffee table. So I've got some scissors, let's cut into this mother. This is going to take forever. Obviously not going to do it in real time. Oh, what awesome lighting. <laughs> I'm going to have so much cardboard here. It is ridiculous. Say that's my makeup table. Yeah, Cinderella vanity. I don't think I'm going to have anything unwrapped before they just completely fill my room up and it, there's like nowhere to walk at all. This is so exciting. I need to stop being a pussy right and just rip into this. I don't know which item I'm the most excited about. That's like asking me which of my children I love more. I just can't decide. Oh my god, check this out. <laughs> Yeah, that's where you're going if you're naughty, all right? Look, it lifts up and I had them put special child soundproofing so we can't hear you. Look at that, blood red lining. Oh my God. Wow, yeah, watch your fingies. Unreal. <laughs> that is fucking sick. <laughs> so they got the two chairs in. I woo, cannot remember what these are called. Okay, Aphrodite. Parlor chairs, so they're um, faux black leather. Let's see if we can find. Uh, no, <laughs> I'll have to unwrap them. And the, um, the wood is painted metallic silver. Hey, get your little dirty fingers up my coffin. Mommy will eat you. Yum, 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 yum. I'm joking, I won't eat my child, obviously. Love him the bits. Von was just saying he thinks the um, body of Dracula is actually in the bottom of this coffin as it is so bloody heavy. We're quite lucky we have these double doors to fit a lot of things through. So even though my room is eight meters by eight meters, it's <laughs> starting to fill up. This one I'm so excited to see. What's this one called? The Aurora Hall Table. I got this in silver. Oh my God. That is actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be. So that is my uh, makeup desk, my vanity table. Wow. That is gonna fit a lot of fake eyelashes, Kat Von D makeup. Oh, I'm gonna have to buy some more makeup. I was just completely perplexed as to what these are, but I realized that they don't have the back, um, obviously, for transit. So they're the um, Aurora bedside tables. They are so nice. I feel like I'm kind of walking around like a chicken with its head cut off. Like, I don't know what to open first. Help me! Uh, 
<laughs> my bedroom is looking ridiculous. So the very back thing I think is the um, bed head or the front of the bed for my king bed. Um, that is part one or two of the Alchemist bookcase and this is probably one of the pieces that I am so excited about. The Raised by Bats Love Seed in Blood Red Velvet. <sighs> Let's just have a little snake peek. Come on. Oh. Hello, my love. I get why it's all covered up, but it's so frustrating. And this little chair here is the Aphrodite bench. I'm guessing that uh, will be the poles for the um, canopy or the four post bed. I'm gonna have a busy night ahead of me unpacking all of this. We had to stop for dinner. <laughs> okay, now we're going to unbox my raised by bats seat. <gasps> Holy shit. Let's get a close up of the bats on here. Oh wow, check that out. <laughs> that is gorgeous. I want this in my studio. <laughs> no, but he's like, Bond's like, this is going in our recording studio. I'm like, ah, 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 ah. This is for me. Check out. <laughs> Hello, little fella. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that detail. That is unreal. That's the kind of thing you don't see like in the product photos. Wow. I apologize if all through this video, all I'm saying is, oh my God, but <laughs> oh my fucking God. <laughs> it's much better. Running out of light. The daylight is gone. Oh, that's better. Look, he's got little teeth. <laughs> oh, this is so luxurious. Crystal Diamantes. I think I might sleep on this tonight. It's long enough. Seriously, I did not think, how big is that one? Like more than two meters? Next unboxing is my Aphrodite bench in blood red velvet with crystals. This will be um, the same as the gorgeous chair here to match. Ooh, ah. <laughs> I feel like the minions. I love the way that velvet plays with light. Gorgeous. So I'm undecided if the bench behind me would be to sit at the end of our bed or if I might put it in our walk-in wardrobe and you know sit on it to get ready and such. It's just a fun. Next up for unboxing is the Alchemist bookcase. This is in two parts. I think there's the top part which is a bookcase um, and the bottom section which is like the shelving. So let's take a look. First reactions for, ooh. <laughs> wow. Bond's got an absolutely massively extensive range of um, musical history books, occult books, magic books, so they look terrific in that. So that's just the um, top half. Now we're gonna unopen the bottom part that will sit underneath. So heavy, the top part, anyway, that Bon and I are unable to lift it up and <laughs> put it on top of the base. So for now, we're just going to keep it like that. This one is so cute, I don't want to unpack it. It's like a little mushroom. I believe this is the stool that will go with my um, Cinderella vanity. And it's blood red velvet to match the chairs and everything else that's going on. <laughs> it's so cute. Bon is sporting a um, steampunk infused open toe shoe this evening. Very safety fashionable. Shoe. Open toe safety shoe. Open toe safety shoe. Sorry. Get that right. Yep. <laughs> How adorable. That looks really comfortable to sit on. Which is important because I plan on spending a lot of time sitting on it doing my makeup. Hey, fuck you. I don't wake up looking like this. I do. Yeah, well, aren't men lucky? I mean, they can just, the older they get, the sexier they seem to get. And they don't really need to do anything to look cool. That's really comfortable. And again, larger than I expected it to be. Next up is the unboxing of my Cinderella vanity. This is probably the second most exciting item for me. The first was the um, Raised by Bats love seat. That is beyond my expectations. <laughs> um, and I'm really excited to see this. It has a lot of drawers and it has the um, three mirrors as well, which is really nice. Hey, I'm holding the very heavy camera, okay, documenting this incredible experience. It's a job in itself, wouldn't you agree? And then I have to edit this entire video. He's complaining that I'm not really doing anything except standing here looking pretty and watching him work. 
Our bedroom is a complete mess at the moment. 360 tour, there is boxes absolutely everywhere. Styrofoam all over our floor. Bye bye ugly bed. Suddenly 8x8 eight eight meters doesn't look as big as I thought it would. Is this making you dizzy? Kind of freaking out a little bit. Ooh, look, 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 look. It's so shiny. Oh, I've died and gone to makeup heaven. So many drawers to put my fucking shit. <gasps> wow, this is a very uh, presidential kind of feel to it. Like a goth president. When are they gonna put in a goth president in America? That's the next step after Donald Trump. Vote for the goths. Bond was just saying that Marilyn Manson should run for president next time after Trump. But like, his campaign would be like, fuck breakfast. <laughs> Fuck the police. <laughs> He'd probably win though, right? I'm going to unbox one more item this evening and then call it a night. It is 11.30 p.m. here in Australia and it's taken us a lot longer than expected. Haunt have taken a lot of care in unpackaging their items. So they're wrapped in cardboard and then they're wrapped in bubble wrap and then they're wrapped in styrofoam and they've got all these cords around it. So there's a lot of fiddling about to actually get to the item. So we'll have to, yeah, reconvene tomorrow. Um, and then I guess you will see there's like nine more items to go. <laughs> the last item we're going to unbox right now is the Silver Aurora Hall Table. That is a mouthful and a tricky to say. This is so opulent. It's, it's magnificent looking on their website, so I cannot wait to see it in person. Let's take a look. That is very nice. Where is this going, Vaughn? This is going in our hallway. We don't have a hallway. Let's try that again. Where is this going? <laughs> I just like that's my confusion. Yeah, <laughs> we don't have a hallway. You know when you buy shit and you're just like, I gotta have that. I don't exactly know where it's gonna go, but I'm just gonna buy it. This is one of those moments. How pretty is it? It's very French provincial. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love how the legs come to that centerpiece there. That's gorgeous. Craftsmanship. Stunning. You know your unboxing video is going to be epic and large when you need to do it over two nights. So let day two begin. The next item we're going to unbox are two of these Aphrodite parlor chairs. So let's check these bad boys out. Everything is actually a lot larger than I expected it to be. I know you've heard me say that a lot, but I don't know, I've got another throne over here from a, a different manufacturer and it's large, but <laughs> it's not as broad as I think these chairs are going to be. So let's see how big they are. Super queen, eh? Dark evil queen. What I love about these instantly is how much the crystal studs um, stand out from the black faux leather. That is really nice quality. And even though it's some um, faux leather, there's a texture through it, which is really nice. And the little silver studs here are a nice touch as well. Very solid. Let's see myself. Sipping a lot of cups of tea in this motherfucker. All right, this next one that we're unboxing now is called the Countess Addressette. It's gloss black with silver handles. It's backwards, so we're just gonna swing it around. Isn't that divine? Come and have a look at the handles. I love how that has the little fake keyhole design there. That's very nice. And the inside is um, painted black as well. And what am I going to do? Put all black clothing inside it, so it will be impossible to find anything at all. The next item that we're unboxing, I'm getting a little sad because there's only like two or three left. <laughs> um, but this is the Lux King bed with the canopy. And yeah, I think it's gonna whip my current bed's ass. Uh, we're not gonna put it together now because obviously, you know, that is gonna take way too long. So I'll show you in a upcoming video what the bed looks like and I bought this cool, I'm not sure what the technical word is for it, but it's like a fancy mosquito net. I'm sure that's not exactly what it's called. But um, I bought one of those to drape over the canopy, so that's gonna look really vampiric. Does anyone want cardboard? Because we're giving it away for free. Just DM me on Instagram and I'll, I'll, I'll hook you up. Now that is a motherfucking bedhead. Again, look at the detail. It's 
gorgeous. It's so shiny. Really thick faux leather. I love the texture in that. Can you guys see that? And the crystals are really nice as well. This bed is going to look so cool once it's together. And it's popping on the red wall. It's going to be on our black wallpaper wall. But maybe I'll just keep it there. Is this going to be a new coffee drinking chair? For sure. I'm going to blood drinking chair. Yeah. You're going to do it, do it in style, right? Right. Next up is two of the Aurora bedside tables. I'm so excited to see these. So for those of you wondering how the haunt stuff comes packaged, so it's covered in cardboard, and then when you unwrap the cardboard, you've got bubble wrap, and then after the bubble wrap, you've got styrofoam, and then after the styrofoam, You've got some little kind of protective plasticky thing that you have to pull off. Whoa. Wait till you see these. The handles on this is just gorgeous. There's a back plate that we'll have to attach that comes up higher. You always normally see French provincial furniture which is like white or gold or whatever. It's really nice to see this style of furniture but in black. So here is the bedside table and we're just um, trying to look <laughs> through all the mess that is currently our bedroom for the um, back plate that would be attached to this. That looks more complete. They are stunning. My room looks like a tornado has just come through it. It is ridiculous. How cool does that look with lighting on it though? That is freaking stunning. Up against the wallpaper. OMG. Vaughn's just about to put in place the triptych mirror for my vanity table, which is the Cinderella table. Let's check it out. Wow. Vanity times three. Holy shit. Oh wow, that's gonna be like really handy when you do like a winged eyeliner and you need to see yourself from the um, other angle. The very last item for us to unpack is, uh, let me check its name, is the Maleficent Mirror in Black Gloss. That is stunning. It's so shiny. I like how the glass continues in yeah. yeah, that's a nice little feature, it's isn't it? Glass and all. Yeah, normally in all these cutouts, um, the frame usually stops, but that's cool. Not here. Yeah, no, it's the same color. I thought it went through there. But there you go, that's glass. Hey. And again, a lot larger than I expected that to be. Oh yeah, that looks nice, but <laughs> our ceilings are not high enough. How cool does that look for that? So if you're thinking of placing a similar order with Haunt, get ready for packaging overload. <laughs> that's my bathroom get into the shower at the moment. And I still don't know where everything is going to be placed. And of course we have to get rid of the old furniture before we put in, oh, cool lighting. The new furniture, there's my ring light, giving away industry secrets here. <laughs> um, but that's the fun, right? We've still got to put up the wallpaper um, for this room and yeah, really make it special. So I've got my dad over today, helping Vaughn put the team bed together. Hello. <laughs> Say hi, YouTube. Hi YouTube. When will you have a channel? Never. Ah. Never. I'll subscribe. <laughs> you like the new bed still? So this is what the bed is going to look like, but um, we don't have instructions. So my dad and Vaughn are just kind of winging it and <laughs> hoping for the best. That's looking more like a bed. So we've got the base together. I just put the bedside tables in place with our lamps. I'm undecided if I'm going to keep these. I might just buy a different... I don't know what's called the top of the lamp, but I don't know, I'm kind of liking how light they are because they um, really stand out amongst all the black. I mean, if everything's black, why not just disappear? Can you fix it? Just put the little seat in front of the bed. Now you guys are getting an idea of what I had in mind for this section of the bedroom. Isn't that stunning? We're just about to put... Um, the mattress on top and it's occurred to me that I don't have any um, king bedding. It's all queen with upgraded. So I have to go on a search for some really nice bedding. This is probably easier on a bed that doesn't have the, um, the canopy. <laughs> I should probably be helping rather than filming right now. Okay, I gotta put the camera down. So soon after this unboxing video, what I'm going to film in collaboration with Horn is a tour of my bedroom. Now when I initially contacted them, I said I want to put together the most, what I would consider to be the most 
ultimate gothic bedroom ever and I'm like it has to be with them like who else am I going to contact to do that with so once I've got all the wallpaper in place and I've kind of got my decor set up and just I've got the bedroom exactly how I want it um, I'm gonna film another video which will be a tour of my room and we're really excited to show you this remember to head on over to Haunt's website check out my website as well I've got some really cool collaborations happening at the moment with Drac Makins with Riri Phillips coming up with Mahovsen uh, who else? Beatrice Mariano, Toxic Tears, so there's some really cool shit happening. Head on over to my website and check out the clutches that I'm designing for these gorgeous gothic women. I cannot wait to sit my ass on all of this beautiful furniture and you're going to be seeing a lot of it on Instagram, so I'm sorry if I'm just like, look at my furniture in every single photo, but oh, I'm very, very lucky. If you yourself want to get your hands on some of this gorgeous furniture, Haunt and I have a little discount running where if you place an order at their online store, then you will receive a 10% discount on your order. If you purchase some furniture of theirs, I would love to see what you do with your room, so just send me photos of it. Um, I'm always very interested. I'm always searching on Instagram, gothic furniture, gothic rooms, and that kind of thing to um, get inspired. My favorite piece in this entire unboxing has to be the Raised by Bat love seat. Raised by Bats? Anyway, the big ass motherfucking seat that I got. I was pleasantly surprised with how large it was, especially how high the back is. It just feels so luxurious. It actually reminds me a little of the seat that Lestat sits on in Queen of the Damned, which is one of my favorite movies ever. Um, I think his one is like leopard print and gold, but it has that really high back. And I remember always watching that movie and that scene where the two girls two weird ass girls, they got the casting wrong for that. Anyway, those girls um, kind of crawl up to Lestat and try to get all sexy but he's not interested. Don't blame him. Anyway, that is the chair that I'm speaking of. If you don't know what it is, check it out. This whole furniture is amazing. I cannot thank Haunt enough. Check out their website if you haven't seen their furniture. They've got some amazing pieces that would suit anyone that's in the kind of dark macabre stuff. Um, if you're looking for furniture for your house, you need to go to their website. There is no one else in the world doing furniture like this and the quality is amazing as you can see. We're going to open right now is the Aurora... The Aurora... Fuck! The last thing we have, I'm having trouble speaking. What's that word that means a lot of money? Opulence. How fucking cool are these sunglasses? Ow! Cool, my turn. Your turn, oh, okay. No. Oh, very cool. <laughs> Smile, say hi, YouTube. 